Well, yes, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be in the world, and welcome to round two of the Prospect Team Racing League. My name's TK. It's an absolute pleasure to have you alongside me for the next hour and a half of racing action here in the Belgian Hills at Spa Francorchamps, one of the most historic tracks in the F1 calendar, dating back to 1950s. And actually, the track with the highest elevation change in the entire of Formula One. A track compromised of 4.3 miles, 19 turns, and just two DRS zones. It's definitely one of the fan favourites and a track favourite of many of our drivers. Looking forward to today. And alongside me, I've got the wonderful Kai. Kai, how are we doing on this, uh, on this fine Wednesday afternoon? I am doing grand, thank you very much. And I hope everyone else is too. Yeah, great to be alongside drivers just getting themselves ready to head out here on their qualifying lap. Obviously, short qualifying session here in Spa for it, and it'll be 22 laps of racing action. Yeah, should be some good stuff today, hopefully. Should be a very excited race. Yeah, 100% crew in the chat already saying his first ever league victory was here. And uh, I think it's a definitely a well, it's a, it's a fan favourite track, isn't it? Let's be real. But looking back over everyone, not leaving their pits just yet, getting themselves set up on, uh, getting the setups on. We don't know what the race is going to be looking like at the moment. We know Spa is well known for a wet race here. Uh, so we keep an eye on what goes on over the next kind of 20 minutes or so. We have got a driver heading out. It looks like further down in the pit lane, potentially an Alpha Tauri or an Alpine. We'll see if we can catch who that is. Sorry about that. I just had a slight technical hitch but i'll fix that <laughs> and it is just gaming real is going to be our first driver out here on the track yeah i'm hoping he's gone out on a set of mediums by the looks of it so he's just doing a bit of a bank bank collapse to feel out the track feel out his setup yeah it's one that our drivers have to be a little bit careful of obviously one of the longest tracks in formula one and you don't want to get caught out by uh by doing too many bank collapse and then uh, not having the pace or, or the time left to be able to do a hot run. Yeah, for sure. I, uh, I've felt that one many times when racing around here. Mm. Speaking of tyres as well, we'll have a quick look at our tyres available. So it's the C4, the C3 and the... C oh, sorry. My graphic's wrong there. It should be the C4, <laughs> the C3 and the C2 tyre. I think I put the C5 there. But uh, yeah, the middle ground of the Pirelli range is available here in Belgium today. Nah, it's, it'll be fine. I think. See, uh, I think the, for for the race today, I think uh, a lot of people will be going uh, medium hard. If I'm uh, if I'm being honest, because the softs around here burn out very very quickly on track. Yeah, absolutely correct. So, oh, sorry, keep going. Yeah. No, I was going to say I'm, I'm slightly surprised that uh, just gaming reels gone out in a set of mediums because using them a little bit, which might leave him with less for the race, but. Maybe you picked the harder strategy. Yeah, maybe he's gone before. Potentially might have a set of hards in his repertoire for this qualifying session. But what we'll do is we will hop on board with him. We'll run you through how our track looks. We're going to take the UI off the screen for the most part. He comes down into La Source. Turn number one here at Spa Frankenstein. A tight right hander. Really important to get the right, especially on the start of the race as he heads down towards the infamous Eau Rouge and Radion. In that order, if I do say so myself, which goes up the hill three, four, and five. Navigates those really, really well. Lando Norris obviously having the big, big crash back in uh, back in 2021 with all the heavy rain. Down the kink now, down the Kemmel straight as he heads towards Le Combe. Turns 7, 8 and 9, a right, left and another right to go. All of them banked as well. He's going to be so careful not to get the car rotated too much. And he gets through them quite well, especially on the medium tyres. He comes down now towards Brussels. The right-hander is a 180 degree turn to the right. Then preparing himself for the long left-hander, which is Puon, heading down towards turn 13, 14 and 15, Campus and Stavalot, which will end sector two. The so quick on that left-hander around Puon. He's got to keep the car so planted to the track, get past some traffic in the way as well. Into 13, 14, 15 now, a little bit of a kink in the track. Oh, just losing to the wall. Oh dear. Oh now boy! That probably wasn't part of his plan. I'm guessing not, but that is just game and real. 
out at the first stages of qualifying. We'll pull up the map so everyone can see where people are on the track now. Uh, pretty much everyone out, at least, on an outlap, or apparently three drivers remaining in at the moment. Well, that looked like a very, very, very heavy crash, so uh, probably shook a few drivers up that were nearby that, knowing that it's very easy to lose it around that corner, especially. Yeah, definitely so easy to lose it around there. It's one of those corners where it's so hard to keep the car planted, even with a heavy rear wing, but you need a lower downforce to get the speed of the straights, definitely down Kemble and up towards Eau Rouge, etc. Um, so it's a real balance of finding that setup. Yeah, well, we've had the first uh, time lap of Carnage, 142.8s. Decent lap. Yeah, good lap from, from the McLaren there. No doubt it will probably be challenged later on, but I'm surprised how little people have actually put a lap in so far. Obviously, track limits playing their thing on this case. Yeah, for sure. I'm just, just quickly trying to find out what the uh, what the poll lap was for yesterday in Tier 2, just just to give us a bit of a... Uh understanding about what lap times we might be expecting today. See, I made a graphics No, I know who got it, it was Jack Hawkeye. Um, but I can't tell you what time he got, because I was making graphics for the Instagram uh, whilst I was in a call with some friends. <laughs> I'll just have a look now, nearly there. Uh, so... Got to stay on board with Mythbusters, who's just come through Sector 2. We'll, we'll hop on where Just Gaming Real left us at his hot lap. So we'll hop aboard Mythbusters to finish the rest of the lap. He's going around the left-hander of Blanchimon. It's a fast left-hander full of lats out on the pedal, using all of the track to his advantage into the bus stop chicane. Turns 19 and 20 here to final run. Oh, a little bit of a kick out of the rear of the car, but he manages to hold it and will come across the line. It is a valid lap, and it's going to be a 1.43.1 for Mythbusters. Well, I'm sure he knows he can find a, at least a couple of attempts just on the last corner, especially. Um, so I'm sure he's probably got a few more attempts in there. But I've just finished doing my, my research, and the pole lap for last night was a 1.41.7.3.3, which was ridiculously fast so we're looking at about a second <laughs> potential to gain here in uh, as we currently stand yeah yeah got a long way if anyone's going to try and get near that time yeah definitely a long way it's uh Haas will be starting from the back as things stand unless someone else crashes out after that who's your uh who's your go-to for pole position then this uh this evening um i'm thinking maybe Craigie, because I know he's v relatively close to my pace, mm -hmm. um, and I think yeah, I think he could uh, I think he could grab Paul definitely for sure. I think there's a couple in there. Obviously, Owens jumped himself up and in, up into P3 as things stand. I think if you're looking at drivers that haven't haven't set a lap yet, AJ Mackey, who's probably about to come across the line, um, is in contention. Crew steamers as well. And then AJ Mackey goes fastest with a 1.42.5. Uh, we'll have a quick check on tyres. I'm not sure if everyone's done their lap on hard, on softs. And no, uh, Gopher and Craigie both doing their fastest laps so far on mediums. Gopher's lap's very competitive if he's on medium. Yeah, sure. I'll say, probably can what, find about a second and a half round here on a, on a new set of yeah. softs. Yeah, for sure. Well, Owen, Owen's got the advantage of having raced in Tier 2 last night as well, even if he didn't, you know, even if he just stayed towards the back and just raced for himself. Mm. Um, he's still got that um, practice in racing conditions. So he's definitely someone to watch out for as well. Yeah, I think there's a few drivers here. At, well, I think we were saying it. I think everyone here is in with a shot of, of at least a podium um, over, the next, over the next hour or so. Yeah, I can say for sure a lot this this season. For, uh, a, it's a hell of a lot closer than it has been in recent seasons between tiers. So it's usually not covered by a lot of time at all. Mm, what's nice, I think uh, Shane was doing some analytics the other day, and especially around Spain, I think there was thirty drivers over three tiers, all within a second of each other, in in a pole lap. Wow. Yeah, well, like, yeah, it's definitely the most competitive uh, season I think we've had here. That's for sure. I'm trying to keep a ball. We'll hop a ball with Crew. He's uh, he's one of our drivers. Currently not to set a lap time that is out on a hot lap at the moment. Coming around Puon in just a moment's time. The little run down there. Got to get himself psyched. It is such a fast left-hander. If you lose the back end, quite easily stepping into the wall. 
but he manages to do that rather well. Comes down into campus and Stavalot manages to get round them nice and cleanly as well. The McLaren is absolutely flying, especially in uh, in real life F1 as well. Managing to find some upgrades over recent times. It did look like a purple sector too. We know how glitchy sometimes the game is with uh, with the initial purple sectors, but we're keeping them on board with him. He comes round Blanchimon into turns 19 and 20. Bus stop chicane, as they're more formally known. Just got to get that car rotated around them, get the power down nice and well, and he does indeed. It's going to be coming across the line, and it's going to be a 143.5 for crew steamers, and that puts him into P8. Solid lap, solid lap for sure. Yeah, well, people definitely was enjoying watching. Oh, go on. Uh, people in chat, there's an ad coming in 30 seconds. I can't stop it, unfortunately. I've snoozed it as many times as I can. <laughs> um, someone's messed with the ad settings, and I can't stop this. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking, guys. I mean, it's better to come now than it is for in the race. So yeah, exactly. It's, it's only a minute, <laughs> and uh, you'll be back before before the, the main shootout. Yeah, I was going to say that uh, I enjoyed watching um, the crew doing that light challenge at the weekend. I did a... Uh, Oh, yes, he was on the uh, Alpine factory tour as <laughs> Iron Matrix. Sorry to uh, steal the thunder. Goes two hundredths of a second quicker than AJ Mackey to put that Alpine on provisional pole. God. Looks like hungry qualifying all over again, this does. <laughs> <laughs> if we can get a, a qualifying lap with 3,000 separating it, I would be over the moon. <laughs> but and it was in the Alpine as well. Yeah, speaking are, of Alpine, that's where Crew, <laughs> crew Seamus was this weekend. He was at Alpine's, uh, Alpine's factory. And uh, he was enjoying a nice factory tour as a, as a prize he won from the Insomnia Gaming Festival. Mm, yeah. It looks like currently just Dom, Lucifer and Clement who have yet to set a lap. I think Ninjina will be wanting to set a quick one as well. Currently only doing a lap in the 50s. But I'm going to stick on board with Lucifer Shahid, the other Alpine as things stand. Currently making his way into sector three on a hot lap. Uh, we'll try and pull up the not telemetry, the not detail either. I want the lap data. There we go. Got there eventually. <laughs> there we go. See what sort of lap time he does into the chicane. It's normally about seven or eight seconds run down to the line. It's gonna look like a 143.4 in the top 10, so not bad lap time there. No, not, not at all. Well, they're very uh, very slowly getting uh, quicker and quicker and quicker, so I think the drivers are getting a hell of a lot more comfortable on the track. Yeah, track's also uh, developing with, with the heat cycles it's going through as well, and uh, Clement Fezzan puts himself into P14. I wonder if he'll uh, be looking to improve, or if that was just a second warm-up lap. Yeah. Well, at least Justin can now see that he's starting from the back, just in case. <laughs> just in case start. there was any doubt. <laughs> yeah. Well, he'll have a good race on it. I'll tell you what, the two, uh, the two Aston Martins, uh, Mythbusters and Just Commie Sand, doing well, currently sat 6th and 7th, uh, respectively, between the two of them. So a really good result so far for those two. But I know they'll be pushing as well to uh, to go higher. Yeah, no, for sure. Do we know who... Um, obviously, I'll didn't follow tier three last week. Do we know who actually won, who won the race last week? Uh, we do because I was racing in it. <laughs> um, I I should have won, but I retired. Uh, because I'm a nice reserve. What? Oh, okay. Right, so uh, it's on purpose. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the pit lane. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I can't remember who it was. There was penalty. The thing is, there were penalties that got applied to it, so it's a bit of a weird one. Uh, okay. um, so I'm not quite sure who who won it. It'll be in the Discord somewhere. Hmm. Tier three. Here we go. Nope. No one's. Uh... Ah, here we go. Yes, it is. It was Halo. Okay. P10 at the moment, so. Yeah, Halo, it was a bit it was a bit of a weird one. Uh safety car restart the last second, kind of threw it away. Gopher did come second. Uh starting from P4 okay. on the grid. Ninjino did 14th to 3rd in the race. 
Nice. So, uh, yeah, definitely want to be looking out for it. was AJ Mackey on pole last time around, and uh, he went from pole to fourth, unfortunately. Nah. Well, damage limitation, I suppose. At least he's still got some decent points. Yeah, exactly. And uh, looking to continue. Halo is out on the track at the moment. He's not improving. He does go wide into the gravel as well as we focus on him. Um, I'm just going to walk Scott's away. Him. Gopher, I think, is also on a hot lap. Oh, this fishy he crashed. Oh, he has indeed. He is out. Has he crashed in the pit lane? He had indeed, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the pit lane is very tight, so it's not a... Oh, it's, it's quite an easy one to bad. crash out on, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I watch on board with El Gino as he comes through Sector 2. He's six seconds up on his time. So this puts him competitively probably within the top 10 as things stand. That's just in Sector 1. So let's see what we can do through 2 and 3 here. In, uh, in the beautiful Alfa Romeo. Have you seen what the Alfa Romeo are doing for their, um, for their uh, car livery this week? Yeah, they, I think they've put quite a few of the prominent kick streamers on. Yeah, the they've put, I think, XQC and a couple of others on, uh, on, the, yeah. on the Halo device of the car, which I think is a great idea. Um, yeah, I think I, it's all the ones that have signed a, uh, a like a deal with them. Yeah, for, I think it's exactly streaming that. rights. I think it was a bit of outrage from the uh, from the Formula One streamers that they weren't on there. But I mean, you're always going to put your signed streamers on there, aren't you? Yeah, of course you are. Of course. <laughs> well, if they uh, if they complain long enough, they might get a contract themselves. You never know. <laughs> exactly. Who knows? We might be on the Al Alfa Romeo car the next time. Well. Uh, yeah, I think I don't I think, think my name will ever get there, but yours could. <laughs> uh, I, we'd, we'd have to sign with kick first, and I can't really think we should mention that on Twitch. So moving on. Yep. <laughs> uh, El Ningino does in fact go into the top ten, seven seconds quicker than his last attempt for a one forty two nine eighth place for the Alpha and Mayor driver going on board. Commy Sani's on an outlap. Owen is on a hot lap. He's about to come across the line. He's not improving though. Actually, that might have been his uh, his first warm up lap. Looking, his out lap, yeah, yeah, it's annoying because it comes off out lap about th halfway into sector three. Yeah, and then oh, just comes up with a really, retired. really bad time. Is that a crash or is that pits? That looks like pits. That I is, think it's pitting quick. Yeah, because yeah. the other Red Bull's on track. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there with Craigie, but we will have a look. Maybe he just thinks he can't improve. Saving him, or maybe I think it's because he's not left the pits in time, and obviously because it's a long lap, he's not going to get there. That ah, uh, that is very true. I forget that it almost takes almost takes about thirty seconds to get out of this pit, let alone get round the track. Yeah. <laughs> but we're now down. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. watching um Gopher and a couple of other drivers that uh, have got to get all the way around this track in forty two seconds. I'm not sure if they're going to do it. It's going to be close. It almost reminds me of uh, of Monza a couple of years ago when everyone's trying to get rounds <laughs> after a red flag. Paul's retired from the session. That also was not a crash. That was in the pit lane. I'm going to stick on board with Gopher because I'm not sure if he's going to make it round in time. I, I don't think he he's got twenty all, seconds to get effectively through sector no, three. No chance. <laughs> no chance. No chances he's making this. No. Look if he even gets to the bus stop chicane by then. <laughs> he's he's either it. got to skip a corner or use his ERS now. I don't think with the ERS. I, I don't, I don't think, think he will. He's, no, he's got five seconds. <laughs> no, he's not making it. Do you know what? It annoys me though. I don't know why it lets them out of the pits if it knows you're not going to get there. <laughs> it, tell, it tells you that you don't have enough time. Well, it wasn't have told him because he managed to get out. <laughs> well, probably don't know because it, it tells you, but it still lets you out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Uh, right, who's yeah. next across the line? Let's try and figure that out. It's going to be an Alfa Romeo. It, uh, sorry, Alfa Tari off Halo. He's invalidated. So he is out of qualifying. Next will be the House of Clement Pheasant. Behind him will be the Williams of AJ Mackey. So watch what Clement Pheasant currently in P18. So anything is better than his current run. He's got to get a good drive out of the bus stop. He does get a good drive out of the bus stop. Will he improve on 144? Yes, he does. He goes up to 143. Next will be AJ Mackey coming through the bus stop. looking game. very good. Oh, a little Ooh. bit of a kick out there for the Williams. What's he going to do? Can he get pole here? No, no he goes slower, about 1.3 tenths slower. Who's going to be next? It's going to be a McLaren. Uh, it's going to be Crew Steamers. has invalidated I wasn't looking up so Mercedes is up next that's going to be Dom he's also invalidated it's going to be an Alfa 
Baston Martin is going to be just Kami San currently in P10. Let's see what he is as he comes down towards the bus stop. He's definitely backed out of that lap. He's slowing yeah. right down. Uh, Smith. And it will be Myth next. The next alpha, Aston Martin. He's <laughs> definitely not slowing down as things stand. Coming around uh, Blanchimont rather quickly in towards bus stop. He's got to get the braking absolutely right here. His time is looking rather good so far. He's got a good gut. Get a good exit out of there. Not probably ideal for what he wanted, but he can he improve? I no idea. Yes, he's gone quicker. He I think he jumped up, yeah. Yeah, he's up to yes. six. I think AJ Mack is going to be absolutely livid with himself there because I was watching him through the first and second sector and he was about two tenths up on Iron, Matrix, uh, Iron Matrix's time and then that slide into the last corner. It was all that last corner that, that cost him. Yeah. So uh, well, Iron Matrix... Three cars within a tenth. That's spectacular, isn't it? <laughs> well, here we go then. So, Iron Matrix takes pole. Your top ten are as follows. AJ Mackey, Gopher, Craigie, MZ Plays, Mythbusters, Owen, Carnage Achilles, El Ningino, and Clement Pheasant. And rounding up the grid is Just Call Me San, NP11, Halo, Paul K, Lucifer Shahid, Crew Steamers, Rel Skull Razor, Dom Vintage, and just gaming real starting from p19 after that early qualifying crash will he be able to pull through the field in the race 22 laps of racing action is coming away in just a moment do not go anywhere oh it looks slightly overcast here there is no formation lap i've got to remember this <laughs> Yes, there is no way. And, and just got me sat in the chat. Tom smells like fish. Nice. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Bruce Leon is straight to the point. I like it. <laughs> I, I would tell him to focus on his setup, but I know he's going to crash here, so. It's all right. It's, it's more of a miracle if he makes it to the end, so. <laughs> I, I have, I've got a replay function. If he crashes, I'm replaying it about three times. <laughs> Make it into a DJ remix on TikTok. Oh no, I've got, I've got hockey set for replays. It's fine. Oh yes. Because <laughs> I can. Well, hopefully, if there's action during the race, we'll we'll go and watch it. And I, I'm hoping turn one will be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Natty in the chat. <laughs> Call me saying you smell like beef and cheese. <laughs> People are just insulting each other in the chat now. I'm all for it. I'm all for I'm it. All for it. <laughs> I love it. Keep going. <laughs> If you look up in, in your top right hand, or not anymore, but that's was where the podium is. Straight away, no formation lap, four, five red lights, and it is lights out, and away we go here for the Battle Grand Re. Just coming down, gets a jump, uh, drive through penalty for jumping the star. Alpine gets the lead into turn one. Gopher and Mackie make contact. Red Bull number two has got through very cleanly as well, looking further back in the grid. The two McLarens get away well. Uh, Mythbusters has made up one position into P5. Everyone running down towards Eau Rouge and up into Radion gets away fairly cleanly everyone making up positions as well no one no spins up over route which is good to see we're on board with halo as he tries to make a move on crew steamers down the camel straight he's going to go to the inside of the turn would he be able to make the move before the breaky zone yes he does gets a really nice move on crew steamers there that's someone spinning out as uh, the williams of M said unfortunate for him maybe contact between the two crew steamers gets the position back on halo as they come through lacombs though those who will be battling out further back myth butters up into p4 down the inside of aj mackie by the look of it and aj mackie making up a position on carnage achilles as well but he's definitely dropped from p2 iron matrix still holds the lead gopher made it up into p2 with craigie actually holding p3 as well so two red bulls in the podium positions at the moment how was that start for you kai well, I think there was a little bit of contact between AJ Mackie and maybe Gopher because obviously AJ Mackie was in second and then he's dropped all the way down to fifth. Um, and I, I did, I was on board with Iron Matrix and I did hear some contact. And well, AJ Mackie is the one who's dropped like a stone from the front uh, front three. So Oops, say there's probably really a bit he's of had a there. spin further back and he's reset to track. What an absolute pillock. <laughs> we don't stand for well, that here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we can't but, even hide that one because we caught it. <laughs> yeah, I got it on stream. 
Don't try and do it, because yeah. if I see someone drop down the order like that, I will switch to you. There's a massive battle <laughs> going on for P4 at the moment. You're AJ Mackey, you've got Mythbusters, and you've got Carnage Achilles. Owen in the background. Will there be Carnage into turn one here? It looks like there was almost a dive by Owen. A little bit of collision by Elton and Gino behind him, but everyone's still close together as we head down in uh, into turn one on lap two. Re uh, just going to be standing in the pits, though. Well, that is absolute karma for the message about Tom in the chat. <laughs> oh, that'll be the, the drive-through penalty, won't it? Yeah, <laughs> straight away. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Just Copy Sand drops his ass down to 19. Oh, that is calm. <laughs> well, at least he's got a score raise for a slight company, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> completely alone at the back. <laughs> and Gina and Clement Pheasant battling side by side here as we head down into Bruchelle's trying to go around the outside isn't it Gino but he's not holding off we've got a yellow flag by the back it, it's starting to rain is it it is oh the spin Ninjino yeah. spun oh didn't catch that <laughs> I was on uh, I was on just gaming real who's also gone for a spin but you're absolutely correct rain is coming down and uh, Ooh, we'll see what our, game changer we'll put the tyres up on the screen actually well we'll first look what position changes uh, MZ down seven, Ninjino down nine, Reese, uh, sorry, just gonna be San down eight. Uh, biggest winners though, Cruise Team is up five positions, but we'll keep the tyres on the screen for the time being. We'll keep an eye on what it's doing because that rain is coming down heavy very quickly. It is. Wow, this is gonna make a very interesting race now then because a lot of people are gonna have their dry setups not really thinking about the rain. Well, what's interesting is, is Iron Matrix, MZ's. You know, Dom, Scott Razor, and Comisan have all started on the medium, sliding around as well. Gopher hasn't pit. Neither Red Bull have pit. Oh, no. Neither oh, has the Haas no. of and close Clement on Pheasant. Track. Crew Steamers also staying out. This is hard trying to figure out who's pit and who's not pit. Paul K in the Ferrari <laughs> also stays out. Keep an eye on the tire graphic oh on your my, screen. Oh, You'll be able to see who's spun again. Yeah, I think this is almost undrivable for drivers. Oh, yeah, it's so wet. Well, we'll keep an eye on Gopher and Craigie, the two Red Bulls, who will undoubtedly and double stack at the end of this lap. Ninjina has retired. Oh, retired on track. Oof. Tut, tut. Retired on track and left the session. Tut, tut, Ninja. Tut, tut. Okay. Hopefully, that won't cause a safety car, though. DRS has been disabled. It is definitely too wet to race. I would not want to be out on dry tyres here, especially going round Bruchelles, about to head down so, Puon. There are five so drivers out on dries. Let me just, uh... I'm going to yeah, keep an eye on Craigie, right. see how he manages to go around Puon on dry tyres. Will he slide or will he have a good enough setup to hold it? A little bit of movement uh, horizontally from the Red Bull. But he's got to back up if he doesn't want a double stack here with his teammate. Or one of them's going to have to go an extra lap. Yeah, we both, I think we both know that's not going to happen. I think it's going to have to be the, a double stack. Well, if you look at, look at the times, Iron out. Matrix, only six seconds off Paul K. Yeah. They are so close together. The dries are just dead in the water, literally. Yeah, I matrix. Well, I matrix is catching Paul K at nearly three tenths a corner. I mean, he, he could probably three. catch it before Paul K has to pit here. Yes, I think he. I actually think he might do. Well, I think it he's going because cool. it's a straight. It depends how much speed Paul K can have on the straight. I'm gonna watch the double stack chaos that's gonna happen in the Red Bull garage. I know they're quicker pit stops, but they're definitely not that quick. Oh, Craigy, a little bit of kick out from the rear there as he heads into the pits. This is definitely gonna be a bit of double stack oh. action. Iron Matrix is lots of Ooh, time. Paul K go really deep into the first corner bus stop. Oh, contact between Ooh, him and Paul contact. K. Paul K comes across him trying to get into the pits, and that causes Iron Matrix to go straight into the side of Ferrari. That puts uh, AJ Mackey back into the lead of this race. Wow, what a turn of events that was. I think that was just poor, um, poor judgment from, well, I mean, both Paul and Gopher there. Sorry, go go yeah. for and Matrix. Go, Matrix would have seen that coming and hoped that it wouldn't have happened, but he, you know, should have been expecting it to a degree. Yeah, I think I think what happened, what I think what you said, I think he caught him before the end of the straight, and I think that uh, Paul was just struggling to get into the pits because it's dry because uh, he was on dry tires and it was wet, and then that was the end result really yeah he uh, he really outbroke himself into uh, into turn 19 just went really wide and uh, probably should have backed out a little bit as he headed into uh, 
Oh, we've got a spin. It's an Aston Martin round. That's Mythbusters. Round at, uh, at the exit of Lake Com there, at the top of the hill. Really not happy with this setup by the look of it. It doesn't look like there's any wing damage. I'm trying to have a look as he comes down towards the camera. Definitely no end plates missing for the Aston Martin driver. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a uh, there's a hashtag going around when Myth spins, isn't there? Well, hashtag Myth yeah, spin. Hashtag myth if spin. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I think you'll add another one to the collection. <laughs> we need to have a we need to have a Myth spin counter. <laughs> I, th I think it'll be over whatever the counter can take by the end of the season, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> I need to figure out how to do count. I'm going to do that the next time I'm on comms. I'm going to have a myth spin counter. <laughs> if it's a wet race, anyway. Even if it's dry, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> right, who do we hop on board? We'll hop on board with Owen. He's on the back of Gopher here for P4, pretty much pushing the Red Bull down toward the bus stop. It looked like he was going to go for a bit of a dive, but he's not. Halo is in between him and uh, Free Road behind him. Gopher goes deep into turn 20. That allows Owen to get a better traction down the home straight. It's all going to be on break. Oh, I'll say it's all going to be on breaking down to turn one, but Owen has passed quite comfortably before they even reach the source. Yeah, he made that look very, uh, very easy, considering. Yeah, it did indeed. Uh, actually, allowed uh, Halo to get past him as well as they head down towards Eau Rouge. This is where it could go so horribly wrong. Eau Rouge, Raddy on that right hand, and no name on the left. And uh, all of them up there quite nice. If, if this was F122, they'd have been spinning all over the place. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely true. I think this is as well, this is definitely showing um, the drivers that have ran a bit more downforce on the setup than the ones that haven't. Yeah, hundred percent. Sure, because they're starting to starting to make moves and pull away from other drivers very uh, very simply. Yeah, you can notice it a lot more, especially in in the middle sectors of the track where they're they're so much quicker, especially through the corners. Um, yep. You know, they might sacrifice a bit of straight line speed along the Camel Straight and 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 you know, the home straight effectively. But the corners are so much more valuable here, especially high speed. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's not really a battle Carnage for the lead at the moment. AJ Mackey is about two seconds clear of any competition. And Carnage Achilles will be gaining on Iron Matrix, but obviously no DRS to assist in that. And it doesn't look like there'll be DRS at any point in this race with the amount of rain that's yeah. coming down. No. no, I don't think there will be. Well, Carnage just very quietly got himself up into P3. I didn't actually really notice him, but he's managed to get himself up there. Yeah, I think pit stops have helped with that, especially with, the, with his teammate not causing a double stack. Yes, I think that's had a had a massive impact on it. Obviously, uh, a lot of the other drivers would have to double stack. So uh, yeah, kind of just managed to sneak his way up into P three at the moment, and uh, and is gaining towards Iron Matrix very slowly but surely. I think the best part at the moment is uh, is Owen Halo and Gopher here. Gopher still in P six though, um, not liking the traction he's getting. Maybe definitely running a drier setup as Halo and Owen start to pull away and advance towards Carnage and Iron for that P two spot. Yeah. Well, I did think Mac AJ Mackey was going to be the uh, the worst out of the the front three for for losing the most places, but he's managed to sneak himself back into P1 and it's looking pretty strong at the moment. Yeah, he had a good recovery after after the the rain impacts and obviously that collision between Iron Matrix and uh, and Paul K, who is 25 seconds down on everybody. Yeah, I, I, think he, I think he pitted again. Oh, he, he has, yeah, again. he's on zero lap old uh, inters. We'll take that tyre off the screen for now. We'll have a quick look at position changes. Craigie getting past Dom there for P10 as well. Just, uh, just a nice little nip there. But currently, yeah, Halo's up seven, Carnage's up five, Dom's up six, Vintage is up five. Uh, I mean, Mythbusters has lost out on eight positions here. And Copy Sounds lost out on five. The Aston Martin's having a terrible time here in Spa this afternoon. Yeah. Well, we've had one one spin from one and one drive through for the other. And mm. resulted in a uh, not not looking great for them at the moment, but you never know. One safety car brings them both back into play. <laughs> now you're in the chat saying Lacom is now less spin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we will rename it after Myth. Uh, and henceforth will be known as Le, Le, Le Spin. <laughs> I'm trying to think what the closest battle is. There's a battle here between kind of Lucifer Shahid, MZ, and Clement Fezzan. I think Craig is also trying to get involved in that as well. For uh, for the lower points, P8 onwards. 
And uh, they're all following each other very quickly through Blanchimon into the boss oh. stop chicane. Yellow flag for oh, the Matrix back. has just ran really Ooh, wide. Oh, big collision the there between, uh, between the two drivers, uh, between MZ and. It uh, looked like. Look like loose for Shahid. What we'll do is we'll uh we'll go back and have a look at the replay, <laughs> shall we? Eight onwards. <laughs> and uh, as yeah, as they're coming through uh through Blanchemont here is into the bus stop chicane where the action happens, and uh, yeah, just the Alpine of loose for Shahid outbreaks himself and goes into the back of uh, of Enzo. <laughs> That's really unfortunate for him, as we rejoin our drivers at the top of uh, top of the hill. Yeah, so just while that was happening, I was uh, I was watching the fight between um, Carnage and Owen. But while, whilst that happened, Iron Matrix ran really, really wide into the uh, bus stop chicane, and it actually made a bit of a, a knock. Oh, Owen! That was round. That was round. That's front wing gun. Oh, that no. that will be a safety car as well. Okay. No, sorry, that's not Owen. That's Carnage. <laughs> <laughs> That's close. <laughs> I, I apologise, Owen. That might have been engraved in my mind a little bit too fresh. Um, <laughs> we, we shall move on from this, but it is a safety car. First one of the afternoon. Uh, I don't think it's going to be fresh tyre territory, but it will be a fresh wing for Carnage. Yeah, I wonder if anyone's going to make a, a dart into the pits for a fresh set of inters to try and get to the end, because I could imagine that if they've pitted, uh, if they've pitted, Mm. beforehand, then their tyres probably ain't going to make it to the end, considering yeah. how big and big the track is. You know what we can do whilst the, uh, while the safety car is... Let's have a replay of Carnage spinning out. Oh yes, let's go. So, as, as we see on the screen here, uh, it was, I, was focusing, I was focusing on Owen, that's why uh, what I thought is comes around, uh, actually come around Bruchelles and just, just ends up in the wall, Re seems to slide away from him. And uh, yeah, really unfortunate for Tim McLaren driver, that's kind of going to ruin his race, unfortunately. My Matrix is into the pits as well, that's interesting. Yeah, I think, them, I think these drivers are going to be doing kind of... A Similar to what I said, I think they're thinking that they're going to have to make a pit stop anyway. Yeah, Craigie. So they're just going to do it now and see if they can get to the end. Craigie, Dom, Lucifer and crew and MZ all into the pit lane as well and Vintage. And Just Call Me Sand stays out. Scott Razor and Mythmos is all heading as well. Just Call Me Sand in the chat saying, drive through pens for chads only. <laughs> <laughs> For this oh, Ooh, Dom's gone on full wets. Interesting. That that is a brave strategy call. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't. It, it's it's no, not I too far off full wets, to be fair. To I don't think it's fair. far off it, but I don't know if we'll get there because there's no puddles on the track, at least noticeable to talk about at the moment. Yeah. Maybe those slow, slower. Uh... Slow laps with the safety car out. Ooh, they just, might develop. Yeah, just gaming real. Also on the full wet tyres. I think it's the first time an Aston Martin has led the race. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> Get me on track. Get me in for on track comms. Says just gonna be Sam. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I could say it would just be. Oh, Dom's left words. the session. Uh, and then that One is replied. Drive through pens are for people with talent issues. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree. 100%. That is one of our mods for a reason because he's here to cause carnage and not be helpful in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> you can't call that racism. <laughs> Uh, hopefully everyone will rejoin back under the safety car. <laughs> yeah, I've just sent Dominic invite, so he should uh, awesome. join back. So I was surprised. You know what I'm more impressed about? We're eight laps into a wet Grand Prix. There's the one DNF. I know, and, it, uh, it, and that it was even, even just a, uh, a crash DNF. It was just a annoyed DNF, I think. Yeah, that was just that. Was, yeah, frustration more than an actual crash. Who would have thought it? Spar in the wet. There's been one DNF and not because of the weather conditions. No. Shockingly, just Comey Sand's still going. 
Who would have thought it? <laughs> Where is he? He's P. He's P seven. He's seven. in the points. I know. This could be. This he's could like be really the, interesting. He's like the Logan Sergeant of tier three. <laughs> 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 Apart from Logan Sargent had some talent. Yes, that's, uh, that's true. <laughs> Skull Razor is into the pitch. Let's hop on board with him and see what he's doing. Is this going to be a full wet for him as well? Yes, it is. It's full wets for the Alpha Tauri driver. Interesting. Uh, it's well, obviously that it well, must be that crossover point, and that's what their engineers must be telling them. Yeah. <laughs> it's just gonna well, be sad. It's very wet down here, boys. I, I was just about to say, I was like, we've got some on track experience from just Kobe Sam. <laughs> Get him up, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Stated the obvious down here. <laughs> I don't know how much how much effect that would have at like two hundred mile an hour, but I'd love to see. I think we need to rename him just Kimmy Sam, because that's what he sounds like right now. <laughs> what who oh someone's calling him just Kimmy Sam or something like that and he hated it. Comey, just Comey Sam, that was it. Just Comey Sam. Just Comey Sam. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just going to call it, yeah, just Kimmy Sam to me, because that's okay. what it sounds like right now. It's raining. <laughs> it, it, it is raining, yes. What in the world? It, it, I mean, it, it does look wet and it does look like the Inters are struggling a little bit to clear the water on the track. Because you'd expect at least a little bit of a dry patch. As mm -hmm. they go over it, and they're not clearing that. No, and so, it, it doesn't help that we're in the safety car right now because then yeah. quicker laps you can kind of drag it, well, push it out of the way. But while you're driving at ninety miles an hour behind the slow safety car, it's just going to be piling up. It, it sounds mad to call ninety miles an hour slow. It looks <laughs> honestly ninety miles an hour on this just on games like this yeah. is just it, it's crawling. <laughs> you get arrested for doing that at the M25. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> what division is this? This is tier three. Uh, yeah, I was, thought I was going to say more about that, but no. There's not really more you can say. <laughs> no, because it's not like because we used to have split divisions. I think that's where my mind went to. I was like, oh no, we're all, all cross play now. No, yeah. Uh, I'll let you take away AJ Mackey's restart here. Just wait, seeing before the safety car to head in to the pits. Okay. Oh. Definitely trying. To, I think he's trying to burn a bit of fuel here. Just completely revving his engine. Just uh, trying to burn some fuel. He's probably overfueled a little bit now because it's become wet. But still waiting to let him go at the moment. Safety car is in the pits now, so he can go pretty much any time from now. I think he'll probably wait for midway through. Oh no, he's gone now. Interesting. Yeah, he's got to make it around the bus stop though. That's one of the most tricky bits to get around, especially on the safety car restart. But everyone seems to be doing it well. I'll hop aboard with our back marker. And yeah, everyone's got through there quite safely. This looks slow for a safety car restart. Yeah. Everyone getting a little bit slightly out of turn one at the back. Tires obviously not heating up just as much as they would have thought. Crew Steamers has just gone for the absolute dive and a half down the inside of Vintage and Dom into the first corner and it's worked out an absolute treat for him. Yeah, Dom oh. still... <laughs> oh, there's our first penalty of the afternoon. Just gonna be Zan. <laughs> Track limits. <laughs> what a shot. Logan Sergeant in disguise. <laughs> oh, you Sergeant in disguise. Uh, so he gets a drive through penalty and now he's a three second penalty. Oh, it's been contact, Ooh. contact. Oh, just between Carnage and Iron Matrix. Yeah, it looks like uh, Kobe San losing a bit of confidence. Actually, the Red Bull of Craig and MZ almost flipping back and forth further back on your screen. Uh, Craigie going a little bit wide as well, trying to avoid crew steamers. I think Craigie's not having a good time in that Red Bull, potentially on a dry setup as well. Yeah, I think most. I think the people that have used a bit more downforce on their spa setups are, are kind of not are doing a good job at the moment. But I think Halo went really wide at the top of Radion. Oh, sorry, that wasn't Radion. That was uh, at the bottom of Puon. Went really wide, lost two positions there to go for. Clement and and now Carnage, so three positions. I wonder if there's damage on that car because he really went wide. Well, I'm starting to see because quite a lot of the drivers have been running wide through the corner, so I'm thinking that it, it might be starting to turn a little bit undrivable on the Inters, especially ones that are worn. Yeah, I think you're absolutely correct. Uh, 
it, it's the worn drivers. Oh, yeah, Iron Matrix goes really wide there as they come through Blanchimon. Uh, and he's on he's on two lap of Inters, so maybe the Inters are really struggling, but it's going to be a, a game of chicken here now as to who goes in for wets. Do they wait for a safety car or do they just keep struggling for a bit? Yeah, I think the only thing the only thing I can really say is that the the actual people that are on wet tires aren't really making too much of an impression to make people change their minds about what tires to be on. I'll say ironically all three of them down in the bottom bottom position, 60, 17 and 18 respectively. Yeah, so that's probably why people haven't changed because they're not really seeing the wet drivers come flying past them. Yeah, I think that's that's gonna be the point of, of change, isn't it, when the inters do become really undrivable. Yeah. But there's there's so close battles between all the inters here. The rain does look heavy, but Oh, we'll spin out by uh, Gopher there. Contact as well between him and Clement Pheasant. And Gopher is round on the grass. Did lose a bit of front wing, I think. Did, uh, did Clement, I think. Someone lost a bit of front wing somewhere. All the way down to last now. Yeah, if we look... Uh, I'm going to hop on board with Clement Pheasant because I definitely think he'll be missing an end plate. Maybe it wasn't him then. Who? Oh, it's Carnage Achilles, actually. Uh, missing a front left end plate there. So collision between him and Gopher. And uh, that wing damage is going to cause him chaos, especially sat in P4. Yeah, it's going to compromise him so badly in the wet, even more than in the dry. Yeah, oh, it looks like uh, Craigie's also got front wing damage. Left Front left end plate for him as well. Yep, he's absolutely spot on there. So two drivers with front wing damage. And as you can see, Craigie's... Uh, causing a bit of a gap between him and the car in front a second and a half is almost what the gap's coming up to he has the straight line speed by the look of it if he's burning his ERS which he is indeed but come the corners he is so dead in the wall can you get Paul's massive telemetry up? No. Here, massive fight 3, 4, 5 oh, bit of contact it's going through the second to last corner yeah contact between uh, Iron Matrix and Clement Pheasant as well we've got a MZ retiring. Ooh. Let's see if we can catch where that happened. Oh, crash. Virtual safety cars come out. It looks like, I don't know what's happened there. Maybe he's coming a little bit too hot. But he's uh, he was just parked up on the runoff of, uh, of 19 there. I don't know if he missed the breaking point and just slid it across uh, to the uh, wall. Maybe. That is what it looks thing. like. But uh, Paul K getting a front wing replacer. So maybe there's a bit of a chain reaction there. Didn't actually get to All catch three the, of the wet. The wet cars are uh, in the pits changing to inters at this moment in time. So yeah, the only one that's not is, is Dom, obviously not back in the session yet. Clement Pheasant gets a penalty for uh, of ignoring yellow flags. Clement, uh, Vintage got a three second as well. Just in case we could try and get him back in. Don't quite know <laughs> what's going on then, because it's, it's still under virtual. We're not upgrading it to a full safety car. We're over halfway through this race at the moment. And uh, Carnage Achilles still sat in P2. AJ Mackey's got a five-second advantage in P1 at the moment. Dom has joined. Taza. Hopefully hey. he can stay in there. Uh, maybe he just didn't see that first invite a few laps ago. Yeah, well, thankfully for him, all the cars are kind of Ooh, pretty close. That's though. two drive-through penalties for VSC by the look of it. Uh, penalties... Three drive-through penalties. Just gave me real. Scott Razor and Paul K jumping the virtual safety car restart there. Oh my! Oh, it's a massive five, four, five. Well, no, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, oh, contact there between oh. uh, Craigie hits into Mythbusters, who hits into Crew. He just went a little bit wide there and just caused a bit of a chain reaction between all of them. Wow. Really not going on. It's so close together here, though, which is which is crazy to think. Yeah, well, it's all starting to kick off now uh, towards this middle middle ground for these uh, final few point scoring positions. Everyone's starting to fight like crazy. Yeah, everyone's getting their, their elbows out. So, speak crew goes really wide at uh, through Blanchemont as well. It, he's got front wing damage, another front left end plate missing. As we see Owen diving into the pits, I think oh. we'll see a few others. That's a crash. Dom, what? where's Dom crash then? What just happened there? He literally, I just caught, I caught that. He literally, it's like he just didn't break for the corner. Yeah, he's uh, he was sideways on the racetrack as we come round. But, uh, no idea what happened there. Maybe a brake failure for Dom. Maybe he's uh, 
he's loaded in there and not been able to break when he's got back in. Yeah. Well, I hope it was a brake failure, because if not, it looked, uh, it looked very, very dangerous. Uh, a lot of drivers yeah. coming in, we'll get details up on tyres, but we will have a quick look at that replay of, uh, of the incident with, I believe, Crew and, and Craigie. And yeah, it was... Uh, has it not saved it? <laughs> oh no, it's just I have to jump across. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we're on, on board with uh, Craig. He just comes across, hits Myth, who hits Crew. And uh, all three of them lose bodywork there. So, uh, great bumper cars. It, it, it uh, really was. Still, I think we've still got less cars than this race that we did last night, so I suppose that's a bounce. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're doing well, lap 13 of 22. Two safety cars in a virtual. That's a pretty good go. <laughs> and, uh, well, this is interesting. Halo, Kami and crew all have donned the wet tyres. Interesting. I wonder if, well, I'm assuming they probably didn't know that other drivers had been on them beforehand and didn't particularly like them, so the track looks pretty much exactly the same as what it did when the other drivers were on the wet tyres, so if it works out for them or not. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a brave call, especially with kind of, what, nine, eight laps remaining of this race. Yeah, this is that's a make you know, or break. It, it is going to be make or break because anyone who's pit now hasn't going to have to isn't going to have to pit again I think AJ Mackey will be on he's on 10 lap old he does indeed go in now but the gap is only 7 seconds do you know what I just thought as well which is even worse is Justin Paul K and School Razor have still got to serve their drive throughs oh so we're probably looking at another lap maybe even two under the safety car and then they've got to, they've got to uh, serve, them. serve the drive throughs I'll tell you what, Iron Matrix is back in the lead of this race. Craigie with a time penalty under safety car. That's, not that's, that's a really confusing one. How do you get a track limits penalty under under safety car? So yeah, you're absolutely correct. Three drivers with a drive through still to serve. Obviously just came in Paul K and Skullraiser. Uh Vintage, Comey, and uh, Craigie, all with three second penalties as well. Mm. This is really. Well, this, well, I don't know how this is going to play out. Obviously, I think we'll have. It'll be this lap of safety car, I'm hoping, until everyone catches up. Uh, or at least the majority catch up. That's normally what it'll go by. Yeah, school raises. Well, school raises still in the pits at this moment in time. Yeah, I don't know if. I don't know if he's getting. What's he getting done? He's having a front wing to his car by the look of it yeah so he's just coming back out now we'll keep an eye and see what uh, what the FIA does say it's normally excuse me normally at the end of uh, of sector three uh, sector two rather that we get that call just a reminder for those of you in chat voting for driver of the day does close in three laps do put your votes in the chat it'd be nice to know what your opinion is for driver of the day? I think mine so far is uh, I don't know. I think AJ Mackey is probably. See what positions people have done at the same time. Oh, Lucifer Shahid come up twelve places. Yeah, he had a really poor qualifying. <laughs> just, mm, just Kami San in the chat has voted for just Kami San for driver of the day. Um, I'm gonna have to politely decline on that one. I can't give it to someone who jumped the start. <laughs> uh, Skullraiser <laughs> has left the session. If we can get him in, yeah, I think I might have his friend. If he hasn't added you, that is that is on him. We can only do so much. No, I think I, I had him as a friend for previous seasons. Uh, okay. So yeah, I'll just send you an invite now. Maybe we can jump back. We've got one vote for Lucifer in the chat by the looks of it. One vote for AJ Mackey. AJ Mackey. First time in the chat. Welcome in to uh, Kean McGee. Fluff 
says Lucifer. Yeah. Are you both both great shouts for drive of the day? MZ well, says AJ Mackey as well. Not vintage is up 14 places. Yeah, I think vintage is kind of snuck out of nowhere. Yeah. I think if Vintage can get that three second gap in in the next kind of six laps, then mm. he's got a fighting shot at podium here. Yeah, is, but, is that Vintage the the Vintage that's been here for a few seasons? Just that's trying to think. a very good question, and I have no idea. I know he, someone I hold on, he did for a seat. Hold on, someone was in the chat earlier with Vintage. Oh, Craigie's lost it on oh. the Camel Straight. How does he manage that then? Where does he manage <laughs> that? Oh yeah, on the right hand side. Interesting. Just well, on board with the crew there, you could kind of see his car on the right hand side, maybe warming up his tyres. That's, that's spectacularly oh. uh, interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. I swear I saw vintage in the chat. Oh, maybe it was a Villeneuve. No, I did no, I did see earlier that Vintage did ask for a seat. The actual the vintage from, you know, the one the one that's been here for a while. Yeah. But I'm just wondering if he's just changed his name because he might not be with that racing company that he was with that was in his name. Oh yeah, I maybe. forgot. Yeah, PB Vintage Shake Ferrari, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, he's just changed his name. Just changed his name on uh, on Discord. Yes. Uh, Lord de Mercy, first time in chat as well, says AJ for driver of the day. I think AJ's just got all his friends here by the time. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. We've got 33 people watching the stream. Damn. I think that's actually one of the most popular ones of the week so far. But the same car's in this lap. Happy days. It's because they get to watch the, the Prime Logan Sergeant in the car. <laughs> <laughs> just call me Penn as well as, as Natty has deemed him. <laughs> Just Kimmy San for me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, restart number two. <laughs> Little legs to the chat. Hello. Oh. Um, We're definitely going very fast for this safety car. I'll, I'll say, I'd Matrix is going. I mean, he's keeping to the, to the delta that he's got to keep to. Almost a little bit over the top. I wonder if he slowed down as he heads into the bus stop again, though. I don't think he is. I think he's just going for it. <laughs> also, since when was it an Alpine one two? I didn't notice this. <laughs> oh yeah, I, it's all Alpine one two. Anyway, Safety Anyway, Safe the car is in. We are back racing here in Spa Francorchamps. Six laps remaining. I think seven actually laps remaining. Uh, Vintage with that penalty currently at fourth. He's going to be the one to watch for these Ooh. laps so you can get up into a podium spot or not. We'll keep an eye further back as they come round. It's got a spin further back as well. That's Halo going round at turn one. I think after a collision potentially with uh, with crew there. It was a Matrix little bit of contact. ran wide into the first corner has lost two places to Sheed and Mackey. Yes. Yeah, Matrix. Uh, he, to be fair, he wasn't looking comfortable on on the dry on the wet tyres anyway. Uh, going through earlier on the track, oh, Lucifer gets a little bit wide as you go through Lacombe's or all the spin as it's been renamed after Mythspin. Um, it's now <laughs> Williams in P1. Mackey has regained P1. It's now P2 and three. We got changes going further back as well. We got to add Aston Martin going wide. That's just Commie San uh, as he can't seem to master Bruchelles. Uh, but Owen gets himself back up to P4, battling with Vintage at the moment, heading down towards P1. Owen is ahead as we enter, but on the outside is Connor's Achilles, and he also gets past the Ferrari. Great driving there from the two of them to take advantage of, uh, of a slow-moving Ferrari here. Oh, and NJ Mackey's managed to get past a loose for Shahid while we've been talking as well, and is starting to build a little bit of a gap between the two. Yeah, Gopher's right on the back now of Vintage, almost pushing him through uh, Campus and Stavalot. As they come around the right hander here. Uh, there's a turn here, this right hander that I definitely cannot pronounce, and I'm not going to offend the French or the Belgian. <laughs> um, so this is just turn 16. <laughs> yep, yeah, we'll just go with that. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, that's the only one that I'm not going to try and. Uh, I think you should butcher. give it a go. Come on. Give it a uh, go for the Cupra Paul Frere. Oh, I thought it was contact between Carnage, but that was just lag. Carnage was about a 45 degree <laughs> angle on my screen for about a second. <laughs> I thought you were saying it all because you got it right. <laughs> no, no, no. 
I um, it was about he was he was basically pointing towards Commie's hand for a second, and I thought it was gonna be a massive incident, and then he just snapped backwards. Mythbusters and Paul K having a bit of a fret here. I oh, know Paul K is he in the pits. Yeah, he's in the pits. Help for drive through. Are they retiring? The drive through uh, gang have retired. That's fair. They they dropped so far. I think just Gaming's sticking with it though, so fair play to him. Owen yep. is getting past Matrix here on the Kemmel straight. He's going to be last of the late breakers, Daniel Grado style, in two Lacombs. Great race, but the both of Owen goes, why well, can't he kill? He's going to make an advantage here. Tries to go around the outside, want to be able to hold it. Owen bouncing a little bit all over the place, as does Carnage as Paul K leaves the session. A little bit of disconnect there, but Owen just holds off the position. Carnage thought he saw an opportunity, went to go for it, and uh, it just didn't pay off in this case. No, there's definitely a couple of connection problems there when Paul Kate left. I'm hoping that's not back again. Yeah, I really hope. Well, it's not as bad as it was first time around, but uh, if we are having disconnect issues, that is, that's not a fun one to have, especially uh, in a full lobby. No, not at all. But it's still Carnage on the back of Owen, on the back of Matrix. This is for the final podium position. Owen knows he can get this. He smells it in that helmet of his as they head down through Stavalot and then through Turn 16. But AJ Mackey is kind of comfortably walking away with this. He can get a three-second penalty and get away with it. 2.5, by the way. What's 2.5? I don't know what's 2.5. Oh, I think he's on, I'm, I'm going to assume he's on about AJ Mackey's gap, but I think he, uh, I think he typed it before yeah. it ballooned to three point six. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I say that as Owen Matrix goes wide into turn nineteen again. Owen tries to go around the outside. That is a move off track, but seems to allow it. Owen Matrix is really not happy, swerving all over the place. Lose the position to Connage as well, and actually might lose the position to Comisan in to the source here. Comisan goes down the inside. Will he get a better traction as they head down towards O Rouge? It's going to be a battle between those two. McLaren going wide in the background will be Cruise Teamers, but the focus is now on Comisan. He's getting. He's got the slipstream. How is he going to do through O Rouge up Radion? Onto the left hand, the yellow flag's further back for a Ferrari. That'll be probably vintage, but it's all going to be down the Kemble straight. I don't think Comisan has the straight line of speed, but Gopher right behind him as well. That's a retirement from Just Gaming, really on the pit straight. And, uh, and a safety car. Hmm. Has, it looked like he DNF'd on the home straight, so not quite sure what happened with that. I'm confused. Who's the... I'm really confused. Who's that red Ferrari on the map that's just in a world of its own? Um, I'm assuming Vintage. No, he's, he's in this pack, but it's just a big long queue in the middle. Uh, have we got a ghost? Is that Paul K? It's Paul K's car, but he's the end of it. I was really confused because I was thinking, I was like, he, I remember watching he, he Paul K. He retired in the pits. <laughs> in the pits, yeah. Is he? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. No, oh, just no, giving me real too much throttle on my end. Okay. I, I think maybe maybe uh, tried to go into the pits and uh, lost it in the pit lane. Yeah. I've really. What would be really ironic is if Paul K's car lines up first in the safety car queue. <laughs> well, it's driving really, it's, really it slowly. Is. So I'm, I'm assuming I'm just gonna, AJ. I'm hopping aboard with AJ Mackey. <laughs> yeah. I can see the car. I. Uh, yeah. Car's gone into the pits. <laughs> um, let's hope it stays there. Uh, I don't yeah. know if the sound sounds terrible for anyone else as well. If it's just me. Uh, mine sounds normal at the moment, but people I'm in chat, does it sound it. horrible for you? Or is it just me? It sounded like it was breaking a little bit when I was on board. Just to let you know, that Ferrari is currently coming out of the pit lane. No way. <laughs> yep, it's out of the pit. It's a ghost, though. It's ghosted. But oh yeah, it I has see come it. Out of the pit lane. <laughs> uh, they, the drivers can overtake it. That's the good news. Yeah. Um, oh no. <laughs> I'd make sure to try to avoid it. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, it's DNFing now. It's done a is whole it lap. Finally, putting over. Thought, Let's. It's part the car. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop-de-do. 
Well, this oh, at least we've got a new glitch for the game. There we go. It's oh, off. Our, go. It's off the map. He did a whole <laughs> lap and then decided to retire. Yeah. <laughs> that is one of the weirdest glitches I've seen in F1 yeah. for a long while. Apart from the T posing <laughs> mechanics last season, that was hilarious. Oh yeah, that was a good one. That was one of my favourite glitches in the game, and I'm so glad they did absolutely nothing about it. Because <laughs> every time you load up, because... sorry, God. No, I was just going to say, I think it was just because it didn't actually really affect anyone. It's no. just funny. <laughs> I think every time you loaded up um, a Grand Prix and waited for everyone to set their laps, it would just have all the mechanics T posing outside of the garage. It was just <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> so, right, can't be standing in chat. So, Chents may have miscalculated. Now, this is either going to be fuel or tyres. It can't be fuel because it's the wet. I hope surely. it's not it's... fuel. Actually, it could be because no, it... wet takes up more fuel. Hold on, uh, I'm hopping no, on board, no, 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 I'm no. trying to see fuel, I can't see anything. Oh, I, thought, I thought wet was always a... Uh... No, wet takes more fuel. Oh. Well, either way, there's been three safety cars in the virtual, there ain't no Well, that's, that's no, what I'm thinking, no, it, shouldn't no, it? it should <laughs> realistically have caught back up. Oh, do you know what I think it was? What? Nah, I know what it is. He was on, he was on wets and he's pitted onto Inters. <laughs> he has as well. As has crew, <laughs> as has Mythbusters. My nut. <laughs> I'm not going to read that one out. <laughs> <laughs> the Aston Pit crew didn't put in drainage. <laughs> At least you got a drink for later in the race. Yeah. Yeah. See, this why is just just Kimmy San. Can Improvise, I have a drink? adapt, overcome. <laughs> Anyway, just just Kimmy Sam. He just, wants just his drink. Kimmy Sam. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll have two laps of racing action here. <laughs> don't joke. You don't know where misses. <laughs> um, <laughs> it'll be two <laughs> laps of racing action to finish here in the Belgian Grand Prix. Any crashes basically won't matter because there won't be a safety car after this. So. Um, Oh, did you see the did you see the demon safety car we had yesterday? No. Oh. I mean I was racing, but I don't remember. Oh, it. The, the, the safety car's lights were red. Um What, the, in tier two last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I must have been that far back I didn't see it. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna pace up the stream, but we'll see. Uh, bear with a second. Just came a second. Can you not? Uh, can you not show off your? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so this is what the safety car looked like last night. <laughs> For anyone that's watching. Um, what the hell? I have absolutely no idea what caused this ledge, <laughs> but it was hilarious at the same time. A safety car. Do you know what it was? I think it's because it came out that many times. It was just annoyed. <laughs> yeah, I, th like, I think, oh, I'm, I'm I think that was it. It was just the. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was then the angry safety car. Yeah, it's just uh, again. God take. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Bert Myland is just Lip. stomping in his little shoes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We've got over 10 finishes, this is impressive. Considering we were saying earlier it's a wet race and we've only had one DNF, I think we cursed that a little bit. Yeah, just a tad. But, <laughs> we're here. Two laps to go. Hopefully, everyone is, everyone's bunched up now. It should go in. Oh, yes. This is what it comes Matrix. down to. Lucifer's on 12 laps. Tyres. <laughs> As is Matrix. Everyone else, apart from Vintage, is on younger, intermediate tyres. <laughs> I, know, I think I think that's going to be the uh, the key selling point for this one. And it's all going to be on ERS and tyres. As the safety car just speeds off for the last time, he wants to get home for a pint. And it's now all on AJ Mackey to lead the restart here. Two laps of racing action out of the twenty-two to go. The one, the one good thing about being on intermediates is you haven't really got to think about your tyres cooling down because they don't really cool down in this weather. So they, they do in, a, in an to... element though. You still need to get them fired up. 
Yeah, just not just not as much as you do no, no. with the drives. That's what I think. I, okay, I guess you're on hards and stuff. You got to fire them up a lot more. But he has gone. AJ Mackey leads the restart here for the Belgian Grand Prix. Gets good gap from Lucifer Owens immediately putting pressure on the Alpine driver, wanting that P2 spot. Carnage Killies will be the other driver wanting to put pressure on quite early for the last podium spot. Iron Matrix already losing time to the drivers in front of him. ETL Gopher uh, actually not losing, uh, not gaining much on the Alpine in front of him as well. Uh, but Owen is pretty much pushing Lucifer Shahid up O Rouge around to the top, down the Camel Straight. He moves to the left hand side. It's going to go really outside of the King could turn six. They head down towards Lecom for the penultimate time here in the Belgian Grand Prix. He's going to try and go around the outside, which will quickly become the inside. And he can get the move done on that occasion. Really good move there from Owen. And Carnage is actually going to make a move as well and just backs out. If that didn't give you, and here comes Sebastian Vettel vibes, I don't know what does. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was so, that was so. And that here mean. comes PRL. It just doesn't have the same, just the same ringtone. No. I, also, I'm not saying Owen. I'm crafty, so there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a nice move from Owen. Nice clean drive between the pair. Yeah, good move between the two of them. Actually, really respect for Luce for giving me enough room on the outside, which then again, like I said, quickly became the inside. But Carnage is still putting pressure on the Alpine driver. He's got one and a half laps of racing to go as they head into Sector 3 for the penultimate time of this race. Uh, ERS lights, well, rain lights are flashing. And I think anyone outside the top five here isn't in with the top for podium unless a spin happens. Iron Matrix, oh, all the Just Kobe Sand. Oh, he's out in the top spot. ten. What a shame. Oh no, anyway. <laughs> Uh, we're not back on board with our leaders. Uh, Lucifer has pulled a little bit of a gap to Carnage, but Carnage has pulled a better gap from uh, from Iron Matrix. He's going to be the one wanting to defend this position. Mackie has pulled a two-second gap in one lap already, so really good from him. He's on course to win the Grand Prix here after a disappointing result in Spain last week. It's Owen currently standing P2, Lucifer currently P3. Carnage looking for a dive down into La Source. He makes the move down the inside. Pushes Lucifer out wide. That could almost open the door for Iron Matrix to get involved. Lucifer gets a penalty here for Track Limits after he's pushed wide by Carnage. Achilles into turn one on the final lap of racing. This could really bugger any pen, uh, any podium in chances that the Alpine driver wants. And Carnage Achilles now can drive off pretty much with the podium secured. Yeah, he really can. Um, yes, that penalty is going to have completely ruined him there. Let's yeah. see if he can even just try and get a little bit of a gap, just to try and keep P4, because at the moment he's not even going to... Well, I think he's worried. I was actually holding holding out to the top 10, realistically. If you look at how close the top 10 are from, from Lucifer back, they're, they're milliseconds between the Mythbusters going down the inside of uh, Gopher at Ooh. Bruxelles, and the two of them trying really well to avoid each other. We'll stick back with our leaders for the time being. Iron Matrix, my sound is really messed up at the moment. I'm not sure if that's just me or everybody else. But, no, I think it might just be you. Okay. I'm hoping it's not the stream. That's the thing I'm wanting. Um, yeah, true. Owen holding on to P2. Carnage is just holding on to P3 for the time being. That penalty really bugging loose for Shahid, who's actually dropped about a second and a half back off the podium positions as things stand. But it will be Mackie as they come down oh, through Blanchemont for the final time. The two Alphines are side by side through Blanchemont now. And I Matrix gets ahead for P4 on the track. Bart Lucifer will be coming back. But we go up to AJ Mackey. He's got one, two turns to navigate here. The bus stops chicane right and left. And he will take the victory for the Williams team. A really good record here at, uh, at Spa. Wins. But BRL Owen will come in second. Carnage Achilles gets oh, third. Just Chaos over the, the back there. As Iron Matrix comes fourth. Both buses comes fifth. Gopher comes sixth. Slim and Pheasant seventh. Then I lose track of who else came where. And I'm going to show the replay of that Steve really quickly. <laughs> Going straight on to the instant replay of that finish as uh, Mackie comes across the line. We're looking further back in your shot. And uh, yeah, it's crew steamers and someone else. I think uh, Lucifer getting tangled up there. Just, uh, just to cause them. No, Reese has been timed out. <laughs> Good. <laughs> By stream elements. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good. <laughs> I don't even know what he did. I'm not going to want to time him out. Um, <laughs> a victory for the Williams team here in Spa. Four tier three, great drive by AJ Mackey. And a, and a really good all-round drive uh, for, for the others on the podium as well, the McLaren and the Mercedes drivers, respectively. We'll run through our top, well, run through the full grid here for our admins, just so they like to see what's going on. Top 10 of AJ Mackey, Owen, Carnage Achilles, Iron Matrix, Mythbusters, Gopher, Clement Pheasant, Cruise Demons, Lucifer, Shahid, and Vintage. Uh, the remaining finishers then are Skull Razor and Just Call Me Sam. And the DNFs from this race, Just Gaming Real, Paul K, SSR Halo, Craigie, Dom, MZ Plays, and El Ningino. Yeah, that was a very, uh, very exciting race. There was lots lots of action, lots of passes, lots of great driving. It was a great watch, to be honest. Yeah, great race. And, uh, and thank you so much for uh, commentating alongside with me as well. Obviously, been no TK. problem at all. And uh, do tune in same time tomorrow for Tier 4. All the battle and uh, probably a little bit more carnage if it's in the drying and the wet again. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining us and we'll catch you another time.